This just came from Brian. I just watched vlog 105 and thought these might help. Thanks, Brian. <laughs> I just realized I left my, I left my char, not my charger, but my adapter, the European adapter in the last hotel room. We just got to Lisbon 30 minutes or so ago after a three and a half hour. I would say it was a bus ride, but it was more like an airport shuttle ride. I can't tell you how difficult it is to get to doing these things between the time, it's just like between the time of days that I've been trying to get this particular vlog done now for over a week when I was in Budapest. So it's 1.30 in the morning and I'm in Budapest hungry. I'm super hungry. There's no room service at the hotel. There's no restaurants, there's nothing around. Fortunately, I did find some food. Let's see what we have here. That's gonna have to be dinner. Not bad. PM. Just got back to the hotel and we are flying tomorrow to Torino, Italy. The flight is at 6 a.m. Which means we're leaving the hotel at 3.15 a.m. That's exactly four hours from now. 3.30 in the morning, leaving Budapest now to head to Italy. <laughs> Turin, Italy. Can you visit the front desk? Yeah. Man, I just slept like a champ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was like hitting the snooze button as it was, you know, almost five. Yeah, almost five. <laughs> I have your CDs too. Cool, nice. Hey, ring room, upstairs.
Trento, Italy. Sound check is in 20 minutes, and I'm gonna walk through town instead of doing the uh, the van shuttle. <laughs> My phone died, so I like was just wandering, <laughs> like, and I found somebody. Why did it die at 75%? My battery is just like every day. It's like more and more. Fun. In Pisa, Italy. Do a sleeper there, right? Oh man, thank you for having us. Always nice to have a little poetry above your bed. Yeah, we got room. That's we it. Got room. How long? This is definitely one place you don't feel weird holding a selfie stick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's actually harder than it looks to do by yourself. And then lift your hands up. <laughs> oh, you're so close, dude. Great, now don't move. I have a friend that works at one of the, the plants. Tried again in Bologna. That was a pretty killer show. You remember in the last vlog, I was talking about practicing Coltrane's 26 to 2 and how that con conceptually was related to, not related exactly, but the idea of practicing something like that, how that helps put me in a mindset where I'm able to play all sorts of things. And I think I mentioned Lingus and then in Bologna. <laughs> The idea behind that is that I don't like to practice a song per se. Like I would, I wouldn't. I want to. I don't want to say never, but I wouldn't want to practice playing over Lingus because then when I go to play over that song or any song for that matter, um, in particular, like in this repertoire, then I feel like I'd be well, not so much that I'd be drawing on the ideas I practiced, but that that stuff would sort of be in the chamber, so to speak. So I wouldn't really feel as free in the moment. Whereas the kind of workouts I'll do on a by going down a path, like something like 26-2, it's an entirely different thing, and yet it's about unlocking different colors and harmony and ability that then I can call upon in, in the moment, which is always what I'm hoping to be doing and never playing anything prescribed that I thought about on a particular tune. I don't know if that makes any sense. Then we had a day off to travel to Portugal and we went to Porto and yesterday's show was really, really fun. The audience, it was a, it was a theater audience, but by the end of the show, they were up out of their seats dancing. <laughs> like raw oysters. Wow. We did two encores, and the second encore, I think it was the second encore, we did Quartermaster, and it just turned into a party. Maz was dancing and walking around the stage, just strutting, strutting around the stage. Super 
super, super fun. I mean, all these shows have been so fun, but a show like last night was just through the roof. So the questions keep coming in and there've been a lot of great ones. One of them I thought would be good to address right now, very appropriate, is uh, a question about being on tour and kind of how that works with family. And I'll just say that 